At least 35 people have been killed as Iraq went to the polls for the second time since the 2003 invasion. Mortars have been fired and at least two buildings have been destroyed as militants tried to disrupt the parliamentary elections. But it didn't stop the Iraqi voters from turning out. Queues at the polling stations right up to the closing time. It's their democracy. It's their democratic right to vote. Thousands of troops were deployed to the Iranian border to prevent any vehicle movement in or out of Iraq. The current Prime Minister, Nouri al-Maliki, told voters to make the stand and join in the parliamentary process in order to make Iraq's future better and boost democracy. In the past year, violence in Iraq has decreased with less deaths of civilians, military personnel and U.S. troops. However, corruption is rife. People are still being killed on a monthly basis and basic public services like electricity and water systems work only sporadically.